Hi, I'm Jenny. I'm going to sing you my version of an old story on the traditional themes of patriarchal oppression and how young women make the best of it. An outlandish knight from the North Country came And he courted a lady gay of noble fame All to woo with her it was his delight So he rode out to meet her in the middle of the night And all to marry him it was her intent So she mounted behind him and away they went this maid had a pet, a sweet pretty bird, and it chirped and twittered when the noise it heard. Oh Polly, Polly bird, oh don't you tell on me, and your perch shall be made of the best ivory. Oh Polly, Polly bird, don't let this be told, and your cage shall be made of the beaten gold. They rode till they came to the rocky seashore. Then the knight dismounted, saying, Ride with me no more. For six king's daughters have I drowned in the sea. So take off your jewels, for the seventh shall be thee. Six king's daughters have I drowned in the swell. So take off your fine clothes, lest the water them spoil. Oh, sir, cried the maid, if all this must be, then pray turn your face away and look to the sea. It would not be right, it would be to both our shame for a rogue to look upon a girl's naked frame. Won't you push the weeds away that grow near the shore, for I fear they will make my poor naked flesh sore. He bent to push back the nettles from the edge And she came behind him and pushed him off the ledge Crying, six king's daughters, have you drowned in the sea? But tonight the seventh here has drowned thee Seven ladies have you brought to this place But the eighth shall never see your fair lying face he sank and he spluttered, he splashed and he swore, crying, lady, love of mine, have mercy, I implore. Throw me the rope that hangs there by my horse's side, and I swear this very day you shall be my bride, crying, throw the rope to me and spare me my life, and you'll live out your days as a nobleman's wife. She mounted his horse and she rode away, calling, I could never live inside your golden cage. She took to the saddle and she rode for home, saying, I won't end my days inside your ivory tomb. Yes, she reached her father's house and crept to her bed, and the loyal little bird, not one word it said. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the stories.